You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. We're going to start with some power chords. We have C5 to A flat 5, C5 up a bit, down to B flat 5, A flat 5 again, and then B flat 5, then we have E flat 5 to C5. Okay, so this whole section does this. This is the intro. Okay? All right. So that's what happens. So it's almost two times through. What goes on top are some bent notes and some pull-offs and hammer-ons and da dee da all the fun stuff. Okay? So we're playing at the... Uh, Eighth position, we're going to play the 10th uh, fret note here. This F, we're going to bend it up to G. Okay. And that's that. Okay. So you have bends that come down. Okay. Index note. Okay. And then we're into the uh, little section before the verse starts. The line is the same once we get into the verse, but this little section ends uh, with the chord, okay, and uh, for those of you that use the wang bar, the whammy bar, the tremolo bar, or the vibrato bar, whatever you want to call it, uh, you'll make it shake, except more so, okay, so your line is, uh, okay, so once you get to that, then we're off and running on the verse, and the verse just plays the line over and over again. It's a two-measure phrase, playing it twice gives us a four-measure section, and it's an eight-measure verse, so we've got to play all that a total of four times, two times, whatever you want to do as far as you're counting. So okay. Then we're at the uh, chorus. All right. So we've got that F chord. We've got this little uh, partial E flat here. Okay, more wing bar stuff if you have one. I don't. That's why I have to bend my neck. Like that. Okay. So we're starting with the F. One, two, three, four. And so on. Okay? You get the idea. So I'm going to turn a few pages here. We basically go into the chorus, and then we come out and play the same little bit that we did before we played a verse, and then the verse, okay? And then we play the pre-chorus, which I guess is where we were uh, when we played the F, okay, and so on. Right, so that's called the pre-chorus in this chart. Uh, and then the chorus gets into the chords, the power chords that we were moving through uh, in the intro, okay, from just a moment ago. Then we get to the solo. So in the solo, we have quite a few different things. And what's being played underneath are the same chord structures, essentially, as uh, what we had on the uh, on the chorus. So we've got, uh, we're coming out of the chorus, uh, where we have... Okay, that note comes in, that little harmonic there. Third string, fifth fret. Okay, nice high pitch there. And then we have a double stop for C minor. Okay, we have some octaves. Okay, so we're going from the C octave. 
to D, and then from D to E flat, E flat to F, F to G, G to B flat, B flat to C. Okay. Okay. Now here we have, and the uh, phrasing is written all crazy. It's sixteenths and thirty seconds, and this and that, and uh, quintuplet groups and whatnot. Basically, what I do uh, is I just play uh, a uh, trill line here, okay? And I'll grab it at, let's say, the, um, well, I usually grab it around the 13th fret, and I'm just making, making it go up, so. And we grab that 11th fret note here, okay, this B flat, and bend it up to a C note. So, all right, and then we grab these when we're playing the C and the uh, B flat, we bend them into unison, and then, uh, so not far enough, sorry. So then we go into uh, D flat, I guess we could call it, and E flat, and bend those into unison. So, so those two happen there. And then we've got the line. So what's happening is that we're just playing C, going up to B flat, and then a G. Going to that E flat. Playing an F, going up to D. That, okay, we play the G note. A little shake. Slide it away, use the bar to make it dive, whatever we want to do. And then that's where uh, the voices come in. There's no instruments and whatnot. It's just the voices where they're singing the chorus. And then after that, it just goes into pre-choruses and choruses and things like that until it takes it out. Okay. Now, the ending phrase is a little bit different uh, on the out chorus, but it's the same chorus, so you can figure out by ear what, uh, what the actual changes are. Okay. So... If we play our line from the beginning of the solo, and I'll go kind of slow with it. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So that's the line. Let's have the solo again. Maybe I'll play it a little better this time. So coming out of um, this, we've got the line. I'm going to try that whole solo section again. So now we get to the solo. Solo, we're coming out of the chorus, okay? And then in the solo, at the end of the chorus, we are going to play uh, harmonic on string three, fret five, okay? For those of you that use the wang bar, tremolo bar, whatever you want to call it, you want to make that dive, okay? Make it dive a lot more than that. Uh, but you'll play that note, you'll make it dive, double stops here, that's going to be the C minor uh, shape on strings three and two. And then we go through the harmonics, which is C to D, D to E flat, E flat to F, F to G, G to B flat, B flat to C. Okay. That's what we're looking for there. Then we have uh, a trill part like that. And we're going to grab the tap note on fret 13, so we have, and we bend that note again, so, we grab these and bend them into unison, the B flat and C, and then we have uh, D flat and E flat, okay, so, and then, down here, we're playing C, coming off the B flat, G, 
So that's an E flat there. Putting an F, pulling off to D, grabbing a G, giving a little shake. Okay, letting that shake off, uh, slide off. So uh, from the beginning of the solo, we're coming out of the uh, chorus. And then the voices start with the singing there, uh, all the harmony line and everything else. And then to finish the song, there's a chorus, pre-chorus, whatever else is next. Uh, a shortened version of the chorus as an out-chorus, all of which you can figure out from what we've discussed already. Have fun!